I know, kids. It's another unwanted, unneeded, unnecessary YouTube video from my buddy Catworm. Yay! Oh! Yeah. Okay. Here goes. Uh, if y'all can see, this is the picture of my uh, first Crosley famous rhubarb right there. And this is the one that I photocopied and done all that goober stuff and made it into my sticker. See, 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 see. And uh, that's that. What I've been doing since it's too hot and, and uh, my legs hasn't really been very strong lately. Uh, I've been staying home and uh, messing with gun kits and things, building guns and uh, working on them and fixing them. And stuff. I know I'm not much of a shooter. I'm not able to hunt anymore and I don't eat the stuff I used, used to shoot and eat before so you know I'd rather just let it run across the yard and, and uh, look at it there. But there's nothing wrong with eating that stuff. It's really good or when you have a taste for it, but I don't I don't anymore. Getting soft I guess. But uh, I thought I'd show you some stuff here. Uh, this and this is 45 caliber bullets rounds. Uh, 4570 rifle. Uh, I've got a uh, lever action what shoots this and a 3032. But this is 45 long coat for my pistols, some of my pistols. These were cowboy and Indian bullets. These are 30 6 goes in the M1 Garand. Uh, M14, stuff like that, uh, used to shoot uh, Germans and uh, periodically a Japanese one would stick their head up. Then, also Korea, this and 30 calibers and VARs and all sorts of stuff in Korea. And, uh, Vietnam, we shot this mostly. And uh, of course, we had shotguns and 45 pistols and some other stuff. But this is a 223 round, five points, whatever, for the M16s. And this is what they shot back at us 7.62 by 39, which is primarily a souped up 30 caliber. This is what they shot at us with, uh, with uh, AK-47s and uh, SKSs and just whatever. They also shot 9mm or whatever they had to shoot back at us. And uh, you can see our round is pretty close to a 22. This is a 22 long rifle. That bullet part, the part what shoots out the end of the hole, is a 22 but it shoots out of it with all this powder stuck to the back of it very fast. That's some history there, boys. I love military guns. Not because we shot at people or that people shot at us, but just because of the history behind them. I love history really well. And uh, that's why I have a lot of, of uh, Army guns and uh, war rifles. It's because of the history behind it, not because of the, well, not because of the weapon, but because of the history behind it, what they did, and the men that did it, that had to do it, and the development of all this stuff. I'll get here is an example of one of them that I built. This is an underfolder. I think it's a Belgium or something like that, AK-47. Shoots this rascal here out the hole. Here's the hole. Stick them in this thing and they come out this hole here after a while. 
but it's got an undercolder stock. And uh, none of this stuff is loaded, of course. Then you'd have to shoot it, and I'm not really into that stuff. There it's folded. Here's the stock. It, it does fit pretty good. But, you know, I guess they made this where they could smuggle it on airplanes and stuff like that. I don't know what to do with it. I pretty much like wood stocks. And uh, this one doesn't. The point I'm doing this here is, pardon my rear, is uh, I've got a Crosley show coming up. And it's our national show. We're going to have all sorts of good stuff there in Washington, Ohio. Y'all are very welcome to come visit and stay and ride in our Crosleys and drive our Crosleys. We don't care. Uh, it's a very loving bunch of car fanatics. Better than the, than the ones I was in, the clubs I was in. Besides the, uh, the Christian Car Club of Conway, CCC, uh, they do a lot of good. And uh, I'm a member of that. That's local here. But anyway, going to this gun show tomorrow in Little Rock. Who'd have thought they'd be guns in Little Rock? And uh, we're going to sell a bunch of this stuff that I've built and uh, hopefully make some money for my trip up there and back. And maybe buy a bumper or something, or maybe a windshield, a piece of windshield glass, or you know, maybe a hat. This one's kind of getting gamey. The dogs won't even wear it anymore. But anyway, the, you've seen my uh, Sterling that I built from a kit, open a letter. That was a British World War II outfit, and they used it all the way up to the Falklands. Now, I wasn't accustomed to it. There's a place that's called the Falklands. I think they had a movie called that. Robert De Niro. I don't know. Anyway. Here is a Sten. This is L2 A1, I reckon. Where you at, Larry? L2 A1 Ster uh, Sten. This was a precursor of the uh, the Sterling. Where the Sterling is like a Cadillac. This is kind of like a uh, Vega. It is very simple, light. This thing here, you can take it off if you want to. It's very simple. It shoots the same way, shoots the same round as the Sterling. But it's just a little mean, nasty uh, submachine gun. But they're semi automatic. All my stuff's semi automatic. There's no reason to have an automatic weapon because uh, there's no reason to do it. Anyway, that's the, that's the crop for today. They'll all be gone by tomorrow evening. And maybe me too. Thank you. Hasta la vina. Arrah.